Hello, I'm back. So, without further ado, let's just start this. Okay, so this deck is called The Vintage Christmas Tarot by Hattie Thorne. She's also on Etsy and she has a, an Instagram account as well. So I'll link all of that and you guys can find her there. So anyway, I went through several of the Christmas decks on Etsy and this one by far was my favorite. Um, first of all, the backs are gorgeous. And I'm gonna zoom in now so I don't forget. Hopefully that's good enough. Um, these are not in order because, like I said, I've already kind of played with it. I've done a couple readings with it, and I just didn't feel like it. So I thought what I would do is throw the oracle in the middle and a couple tarot on either side, and we'll just kind of go through it like that until we get through every card. So let me make sure everything is in frame like I want. Does that work? Okay, we'll have to probably kind of, oops, wiggling the camera, that's cool. All right, this first one, Earthly Souls and Spirits uh, by Terry Foss and Sarah Robinson. This is the Make Playing Cards version. Um, it's got like the glittery gold edges. I had the Plain Edge version. And someone in one of the Facebook trade groups said that she wanted to trade for this, or you know, trade out the plain version for this version. So I was like, okay. So that is that. And that version, this version is no longer available because it's mass market. So US Games is where you can find this deck now. And all right, here we go. Okay, actually, here we not go, because I'm going to move this up so that I can actually pull some of these out of frame as I flip. Okay, does that work? Is everyone happy? Okay. All right. Um, I don't necessarily need to read the titles because you guys can see it here. Um, so I guess I'll just make some random commentary as we go. I will say I love the deck. I love every single card in here. Um, I don't think there's a single card that I don't. So, Queen of Wands and Six of Swords with Blossom. And look at me. I'm already reading it. I just said I wouldn't. This one does feel a little bit Halloween-ish, but not really fall-ish. So I think we can kind of overlook the pumpkins, I guess, which, you know, you're kind of, I guess, who cares, right? It does feel Christmassy slash winter slash Yule to me. And I thought that the vibe and the colors fit really well. Oh my gosh, I'm going to drive myself crazy trying to keep these straight. Okay. Forgive, please. I won't go through the entire deck, oracle deck, um, because like I said, I've got four that I want to show with the tarot, so I will just go through a handful of each. I think this is pretty. The colors are kind of spot on here. The Knight of Swords, I think he's beautiful. This is one of my favorite Ace of Pentacles, honestly. It just... It feels like childhood to me, like just that magic of like the decorations and the stars and the snow and waiting for Santa to come. That's what that feels like to me. Okay, noted, uh, flipping tarot cards with a band-aid is annoying, but like I said, it's uh, not pretty under here, so we're gonna stick to it. <laughs> stick to it. That was bad, I know, forgive me, please. This Three of Cups, I think is beautiful. I think they're so perfect. If that doesn't in, in, what, embody the Three of Cups, I don't know what does.
these colors are nice together. All three have this red. It's almost like she's turned her back on him. She's like, ugh, he's so dramatic. <laughs> One of the things I like about this deck, um, well, first of all, I will say on her Instagram, she says that the way she put this deck together was through vintage postcards and Photoshop. So I don't know her art um, other than that. So I'm taking her for her word or at her word. Um, but one of the things I really like about this deck is that whether she's chosen them or manipulated them, I don't think any of the kids' faces in this deck are weird or creepy. I think they're sweet um, and they look natural to me. Um, I know a lot of old postcards or ones that have tried to be reimagined. I to me they just feel creepy and they're awkward. This one is not that at all to me. Anyway, this oracle is the earthly souls and spirits. So with that. I'm going to switch it out so we don't run out of tarot cards. Not that we couldn't just restart it, but here we go. All right, next up, okay, I did not plan this. I'm bumping the cord, which in turn is bumping the camera. Sorry. Uh, the Mushroom Oracle, there it is. This one, I believe, is an indie deck um, purchased off of the person's website also. Also, 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 sorry about the washing machine sound in the back, if you can hear it. Just doing household things today, so. All right, Mushroom Oracle. Let's take some of these off. And these are the backs in case you care or you haven't seen them. I feel like the colors are a little more spot on with this deck than the last one. They feel a little more vintage, or I guess toned down. I would say I probably, if I want to go for aesthetic alone, I would probably choose this over the Earthly Souls and Spirits, just because I feel like these colors vibe really well. The keywords, I'm not, I'm not sure on. What do you guys think? They mesh with this deck, with the tarot deck. I really like this magician. He just feels magician-y to me, I suppose. This is interesting. Challenge, desire, and greed for the lovers and the three of wands. I feel like that the word greed definitely changes the vibe of this card which I really like you know depending on the reading depending on your your pairings you could get a completely different vibe for any given card in a tarot which of course is why we pair them right auto screen sorry is lovely.
This is interesting. I like the way this feels like sort of cyclical in its own way. Which resonates with this card. You see her feet off of her throne. I think that's so cute. Very lofty. All right, one more. Opulence, wisdom, and care. Yeah, I like the way this one feels together. I do feel like this pairing would be more, I would be more inclined to use it for a more serious reading. Um, where I had plenty of time to sit with each of the cards as I, you know, as I pulled. Whereas the earthly souls and spirits felt a little less deep, I guess. All right, next up is Old Ways Magic Oracle by Naomi, Mc uh, Naomi Cornock. This one I'm not 100% sold on. Um, I love the images together with it, but the white space on this deck does throw me a little bit with the creaminess of these, which this is like a nice, almost, I want to say it's like a putty. Not quite beige, I wouldn't say. I don't know. If you, if you like colors and you feel particular about colors, I think you'll know what I mean, but... So yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the, the borders of each of these together. But I do feel like the messages are nice together. This one, I love this card. If that does not evoke a feeling in you, I don't know what would. To me, this is like he's leaving a cemetery, but he doesn't really want to. He's looking back over his shoulder, apprehensively. I just think that's a really pretty card. And then we've got Santa over here, being a total spaz, psycho. You see his elves? They're adorable. All right, one more for this one. I know we've only done a few of these. I don't know, I'm not feeling this vibe. What do you guys think? The colors I think are nice, but maybe the, the vibe of the cards themselves aren't quite right for this, for this pairing. I'm not feeling this one. But let me know what you think. Also, if you have this tarot deck, what do you pair it with? I'm curious. Before I bought it, I only saw one other person have a walkthrough of this deck. So, and it was literally, I think like a six minute video. So she didn't have a lot of pairings or anything. It was just, um, just a flip through of it. All right, last deck that I want to pair, try and pair with this is, as I should tell you, the Outlaw Oracle. I love this deck. It's been around a little bit. I've seen a few, seen it in a few places, which is great because I've had it for, this is a Kickstarter deck. Um, you can also get it on her website. Um, her being Hillary something, Hillary Banks. She's a lovely, lovely person. Um, I've chatted with her on Instagram a few times. Um, but yes, you can still get this, although I feel feel like I saw somewhere maybe she's running low. Not sure. Don't quote me on that. But if you want it, I would highly suggest getting it. It's a beautiful deck. Um, the cardstock. Let's just talk about that for half a second. I've never seen this cardstock before. It's like matte, but rough. I don't know. It's the perfect cardstock for this deck, in my opinion. Shuffles beautifully, and it makes a lovely sound. Maybe when I'm done with this, I'll show you a quick shuffle because it deserves a second in the limelight. 
Okay, just a few flips of this one. I think we're at some more muted tones. I think it really works lovely with this deck. Obviously, it's not really meant to be a holiday deck, but I don't know, for some reason it works. I mean, Three of Swords, Sacred Heart, and Death. Purity of Heart, Intention, and Highest Desire. That just speaks to me. That says a lot. Indomitable Spirit and Legacy. Ten of Cups, excuse me. Ten of Cups and Legacy? Yeah. Now I know that Legacy is generally going to be more geared towards, what, Ten of Pentacles? But I'll take it for this one. Indomitable Spirit, Ace of Swords, yeah. The Devil, Black Coffee, and the Emperor. Come on. Clarity, fresh start, and new energy. Uh, I think this is beautiful. The energy of each of these separately is strong, but together this this just feels like like it's saying something. I'm not going to get into what I feel like it's saying, but yeah, I like that. Two of Cups, Good-Hearted Woman, and Two of Swords. Respected, understanding, easygoing, and stable. Interesting. I feel like this one is like, I don't know, her face is almost like encouraging her to chill out, just make the decision, and be happy with it. Stop stressing over it. Yeah. I like how she has her back turned to this card. All right, I guess I'm skipping a couple of cards on the deck. Um, let's see, Four of Pentacles, the North Star, Ace of Cups, Guiding Light, Direction in Life, Values. Yeah. This, this pairing speaks volumes to me. Look at those colors. Five of Pentacles, Our Lady, and Knight of Cups. Apparitions and Motherly Spirit. It's like she's taking care of the two of these, where he definitely needs more caretaking than this one, but kind of just watching over the two of them. Let's pull. Oh, I guess we got to get through the rest of this, huh? Okay. Seven of Wands, Neon Sign, and Two of Pentacles. Homecoming and Opportunities. Well, that's some kind of homecoming and opportunities. Literally my keyword for Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, something that's cool about this deck, which I'm going to just go into real quick. I know we're talking about the tarot, but um, each of the cards or each of the write-ups for this deck has, um, you've got, let's see, straight shot, you've got your upright and reversed, and then every single card has recommended songs, which is really, really cool. And then you've got your little write-up here. Um, and then each of the, I guess suits, it's not really suits, but as you can see, you've got like uh, different elements dark blue, light blue. I don't remember what they are. I'll be honest. I don't use the guidebook a ton. Oh, here it is. Okay. I don't use the guidebook a ton other than to look up the songs because I find that really fun. So we've got fire, earth, probably air and water. Doy, water. Yeah, air. 
So they are broken up into the elements, which is really cool. Um, and you've got your little element here on each of the cards. It's probably the worst one to pull up here because it's nice and light. How about this one? So you got your element and the card number, which is nice because it's numbered in the book. And then you've got another little key phrase here, like full illumination. And every card will have something like that. So you've just got like this multifaceted deck where you don't necessarily need the book. And I love that. All right, I'm mixing those up a little bit, but here, let's just pull a few of these. This one, I love this card. This reminds me of my dad. If my mom is watching, she will laugh right now. Do you guys as moms watch your YouTube channels? She follows my Instagram and because I posted about it, she found out that I had a YouTube and it wasn't that I was keeping it a secret. I just hadn't really told anyone yet, but she found out and she's been watching me and I think that's really sweet. So hi mom anyway oh okay hello king of wands good time in man king of pentacles heartbreaker silver tongued smooth come on you guys if that's not perfect i don't know what is look at him i love him all right a few more here the fool cold one and hierophant belonging relief and sanctuary Yep. I, I honestly, I want to say this is probably my, my, my winner for this pairing. I love the keywords on, uh, in this oracle, and I feel like it really drives the point home of each of the tarot cards. Queen of Pentacles, Cold One, and Nine of Cups, which we all know the Nine of Cups traditionally is the guy surrounded by glasses of wine. Um, I do like this. I think it's a nice, creative way to do it that's not the typical typical card. Um, the keywords here are belonging, relief, and sanctuary. Yeah, and look at her, She's she'd really like a beer right now. Yeah, am I wrong? Yeah, all right. Okay, well that's that for this deck, you guys. Um, I will say, okay, let me shuffle this one really quick. I know it's a cheat, because this isn't the deck that we're talking about. I have to show it, because it's so good. Okay, shuffles. Like a dream, even though that was a really bad shuffle. Hold on, I'm crowded here. Okay, let's try again, so I'm not looking like a fool. Yes, perfect. One more, because I can. Love, 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 love. Okay. Um, this deck, the tarot deck, the one we're talking about today, does not shuffle. It's really thick. I suppose I could break it in eventually. It kind of reminds me of the U.S. Games cardstock in that it's it's nice, it's quality. Um, I think it'll hold up very well, but it's just so thick. Like, I wouldn't say it's cardboardy, not that at all. Um, it just it doesn't shuffle. Um, I've got relatively large hands, and this guy, again, barely. See, I think if you, if you worked with it, you could probably make it work. Like, that's not, that's not bad, but it's pretty stiff. So anyway, that's that, you guys. That is the, oh gosh, I'm going to drop the box. Vintage Christmas Tarot by Hattie Thorne. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.